gents, we are in Staten Island. We are headed to the uh, burial mausoleum for the Vanderbilt family where George Vanderbilt, the builder of the Biltmore House is, and Cornelius Vanderbilt, his father, and the rest of the Vanderbilt family, so most of them. Um, this mausoleum was built and designed by the same guy that built and designed the uh, uh, Biltmore. So we're going to go take a little look-see. We're heading that way right now. Here's the graveyard. They say it's the largest graveyard on Staten Island, so, and there's some other famous people that are in here as well, so. It's the Moravian Graveyard Cemetery. I don't know what that word means. I've seen it, but I'm not familiar with it. Well, aren't they just fancy? They've got grass on their fence. All right, so I just want to show you a picture of what I had seen uh, before with it unkempt like this where trees were had been damaged and it just hadn't been taken care of. That's the way it used to look. And this place was designed, the actual buildings were designed and built by uh, Richard Hunt, which designed the Biltmore House and a lot of the other Vanderbilt mansions and Sir Frederick Olmsted, which uh, Frederick Olmsted did Central Park as well as the Biltmore and this place. Just historic notes for you. All right, so I just wanted to show some of the other mausoleums that are around here. And these things look huge. I mean, I know these things were very expensive, but you're gonna be shocked at how large the Vanderbilt one is. I mean, it's, it's huge compared to these. Scorsese, of course. All right, we are here, ladies and gents. All right, I'm on the other side of the fence. I can't come this far and not see it. I thought it would be close. There it is. So this is a picture of the mausoleum actually in the construction phase. And you can see where the graves or the caskets will be put in like on the right hand side. This is a picture of it way back in the day. And then the next picture coming up shows them actually, I believe it's at a funeral and you see those gates there. 1969, there was a girl in there uh, that pulled on one of those gates to try to open it, fell on her and killed her. So they actually removed the gates and put up metal doors uh, since then. I don't know when that happened, um, but you can see that um, uh, in these uh, videos, you're going to see that they changed the gates. They're no longer like that. They're just steel doors and just a beautiful place. Um, nobody had been up there, nothing but rabbits and deer and that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm not there to hurt the place. I'm there to honor the Vanderbilts. I love to go to the Biltmore and, and I'm interested in history and I just wanted everybody to be able to get a sense of what a place like this looked like. And I just think it's beautiful and I'm amazed at the architecture here that was used to, even for just their graves. But of course, at one time, Cornelius Vanderbilt was the richest man in the world. And uh, it's a shame that people have come up here and desecrated this thing to the point where they have to uh, take graves, uh, they have to take the, the doors down and make it where it's just sealed up where nobody can, can go in and pay their respects or anything. So these people that think it's okay to go and, and paint graffiti on things, I, I just don't know what their thinking is. But it was a very surreal time. It was uh, just an amazing place to be, especially after the snow, because you could tell by no human footprints that I was the only one that had been there. So. It was, um, it was a very surreal thing and, and very enjoyable. In fabulous Vanderbilt fashion, there's the, the gate is literally right there. So you can see it from the gate if you were up high enough. Keep on going around the edge. 
that's hard on the old man. There's a deer. I didn't realize when I was coming up that it was uphill. Why was it ever uphill? Literally right there. You just can't see it from down here. So, we came and saw it. It's done. Actually, you can see the edge of it from right here. There's the top of it. This is a long road up to it. So in summary, if you're interested in history, which I am very much interested in history, uh, this place was built between 1885 and 1886, which was actually even before the Biltmore House was built. Uh, it was built, uh, designed and built by the same guy that built the Biltmore House, as well as the grounds were built by the guy that built, uh, was a co-builder of, uh, and designer of Central Park and also built the Biltmore or the, did the grounds of the Biltmore and the grounds of a lot of other Vanderbilt related, um, properties. These two guys, the Vanderbilts used to build most of their homes, the ones that were in New York. And, uh, of course you, everybody's familiar with the largest, uh, mansion in America, which is the Biltmore house. And, and there's many other properties. I've just amazed at the uh, at the the beauty of these places. Thanks for watching.